بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Last time uh, we discussed the identities uh, or basic identities and properties of Boolean algebra uh, and the duality principle. This is going to be a short video to compensate the time we lost uh, due to quiz one. Okay. Uh, in this uh, video, we are going to uh, uh, take some examples to show you uh, uh, algebraic, Boolean algebraic manipulations and how we can uh, uh, utilize these properties of Boolean algebra to uh, uh, reduce the size of the expression to a simpler form. So let's get started. So what do we mean by Boolean al uh, or algebraic manipulations or Boolean algebraic manipulations? It's, it's the, basically, as I said, it's the use of properties of Boolean algebra. Let me just zoom in a little bit. It's the use of properties of Boolean algebra uh, with the objective of minimizing Boolean functions, at least for the, for the uh, main purpose of this course, okay? Main purpose in this course for using Boolean algebra or the main, let's say, minimization objective for this course is to reduce the, uh, um, reduce the Boolean function size, which means, which means you can say, it, it means reducing also the, uh, the hardware, okay? It means using less hardware and less power consumption. So if you're running on batteries, uh, if you use the uh, minimized function, then you should expect uh, uh, the batteries to last longer, okay? Right, let's take the first example after this motivation or, and, and uh, after I, I, uh, I explained to you why we need algebraic manipulation. Let's take an example uh, of an algebraic manipulation. Let's prove the simplification rule. If you remember, we, we discussed the simplification rule here. This is the simplification rule. And so it's, it's basically, it says X or with X complement Y uh, is indeed uh, uh, X or Y, okay? So we are going, uh, I'm, I'm rewriting it here for, for uh, convenience as well. So when, you, when we ask you to prove something, to prove an, an equality, the, the mathematical way or mathematical approach to do that is to start with one side and reach the other side, okay? So we can start, for example, with the left-hand side, okay? And then reach through some uh, steps, we can reach the uh, uh, right-hand side, okay? And then if we do that, we prove, we have proven the equality, okay? We have proven the equality. So let's, um, let's try to do that. So the left-hand side, use uh, this blue color, that's fine. The left-hand side is equal to x, Ord with x complement y, okay? And uh, that's the original expression. And I can say, I can, I can prove it using the, the distributive law, using the distributive law, okay? I can say, well, this is equal to, I can distribute the x over the x complement, uh, x over the x complement and it with y, I can distribute it, okay? using the distributive law. So the distributive law, what does it say? If you go back here, distributive law says uh, that x uh, ordered with yz is equal to x or y ended with x or z. Okay, so uh, in my case here, y is x complement. Okay, so coming back to this, I can say, well, here it's x ordered with x complement ended with x or y, all right? And I, I uh, justify my step here by saying, by the distributive law, okay? And then I uh, immediately figure out that I can use the complement law, okay? In which x ordered with uh, x complement is equal to one. Okay, and it with x or y, and that's by 
the complement property. Complement property, okay? And then using the identity of and, okay? Um, let me just remove this probably, okay? Uh, yeah. Using the and identity, we can say that this is equal to X or Y. Remember the and identity says uh, one ended with with some some variable a is equal to a. So my a here is x or y. Okay, um, raise this. Okay, so this is equal to x or y, and and that's by the um, and identity. Okay. All right, and and this actually equals to the right hand side and we are done we prove we have proven the uh, the simplification rule and your notes the notes that i have uploaded i have used another method just look at it please and uh, compare the two methods uh, they, 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 you should reach the same conclusion and this is one of the um, one of the uh, features of boolean algebra that there is no single way to prove the uh, to prove one thing or to simplify things simplify expressions, okay? So let's move on to the uh, next example. In the next example, we are going to prove the uh, consensus theorem. Remember the consensus theorem was one of the properties that we discussed here, which is the one before the last here, the consensus theorem here. Uh, this is the, uh, the uh, original expression and this is its dual, okay? So let's, let's just uh, focus our attention on the consensus theorem now. And uh, before I, I prove it, I want you to appreciate its uh, its powerful uh, its power. Okay, in uh, uh, reducing uh, some of the expressions. Okay. Um, so basically, what does the consensus theorem says? If you have a variable x, okay, in, in an expression and x complement, and this variable is once multiplied by y, and another time multiplied by z, then if you add y times z like this, okay, then this is redundant. This term here is redundant. You can't get rid of it, okay? So basically you have a variable and its complement multiplied by a function y and a function z. And then the, the product of the two functions does not change the, the, uh, the, the truth table of the function, okay, of the whole, whole expression, okay? So this is the consensus theorem. And all it says that the consensus term, okay, which is yz, okay, is redundant. Okay, so how do I find the consensus term? Consensus term, basically, you have to find the variable and its complement in two product terms here, okay? And then you, you remove x, which is the, uh, the variable that gets complemented. And then you multiply the rest of the letters, okay, to get the consensus term. Okay, uh, now how to prove it? Okay, now you note that this is the term that it is, that is uh, 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 redundant. So it, it, this hints us that we need to do something with this term, okay? One of the uh, most, uh, 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 one of the uh, frequently used tricks in Boolean algebra is to uh, use uh, uh, the identity property of the AND gate and then turn it into complement property, okay? So let's let's do that. So first of all, it's a proof. So we have to start with the left-hand side, the left-hand side, okay? And then reach to the right-hand side. Uh, X, Y, or with X complement Z, or with Y, Z, okay? That's the first step. Now. I'm going to write the, I mean, that's the original expression. The first step, I'm going to write it here to save some space, okay? Same line, and then I'm going to write subsequent steps in the next line, okay? Uh, in the subsequent lines. So we have x, y, ordered with x complement z, ordered with, now we, we uh, multiply this by the, uh, we use uh, the and the identity and then turn the one into the complement. So we can multiply 
yz by x ordered with x complement times yz. What is x by uh, ordered with x complement? This is nothing but a one, right? One multiplied by yz is yz. We didn't change this uh, term. This is still, this term is still yz, okay? Because x or x complement is one, okay? Um, so what do I say here? I say uh, uh, identity and ident plus complement, all right? Now we use the distributive law here to uh, uh, distribute, uh, to go, I mean, to uh, uh, multiply yz by uh, x and x complement here, okay? So first of all, these two uh, uh, product terms, uh, uh, xy and x complement uh, z, xy ord with x complement z uh, will not change. The last one will change, which, which will be uh, what? It will be uh, x, y, z, and then x complement y, z, all right? Just multiply out uh, uh, this, and then you get uh, out of, out of uh, this, you get these uh, uh, two here, th two terms, okay? By just multiplying the y, z by x once, by x once and by x complement another time, okay? All right, uh, then, so so how do I justify this? I can say this is by using distributive law. Okay, and then this equals, okay, notice that I have here some common factors. I can take x, y with x, y, z, and I can take x complement z with x, y, z, x complement y, z, okay? So x, y as a common factor here. So I'm using the distributive law twice here, okay? Once, once with these two uh, factors and another time with these two factors, okay? All right, so x, y as a common factor here, uh, all, all that remains here for the first one is one, okay? And then ord with what? Z, all right? And then the next one is X complement Z. And then what do we have? Uh, one again, ord with uh, Y, all right? This is using also distributive Low. Okay. Now this is equal to um, x y or x complement z. This is by uh, the uh, uh, null null identity. This is the this is equal to one by the null identity and one by null identity, and then. Uh, uh, the end identity, uh, I mean, uh, the null uh, property, okay? I'm sorry, let me say this again, okay? This equals one by the null property, and this equals one by the null property. So, and then using also the, um, the uh, identity property, x, y times one is x, y, all right? I can say by using null, plus uh, and identity. Uh, let me just say ident, okay? Which equals what? The right-hand side, all right? Okay, uh, I hope this is clear. Um, I think, uh, I think I'll uh, probably, uh, this is enough for uh, for this short lecture, okay? I will stop here and then continue next time, inshallah.